Hi, I'm Michael, and uh, this is my avatar, Ultravox Freeman. And uh, he'll wave at you real quick. Hey! So here we are at the Sears store. Uh, I was one of the team members who helped build this, uh, but I probably did the least amount of work, I think, uh, between uh, Stephen and Michael and Pipe and AM, batter AM Radio and Lulu, and Rags to Riches, and many other people who I probably have forgotten. Uh, Jessica, absolutely. Uh, they all did a lot more work than I did. I did some texture cuts, uh, some basic uh, square and rectangular objects. But I'm going to show you around, so let's turn around and take a quick peek in the store. And what we have here is... Uh, I'm getting a little bit of network lag, so I'm not... Uh, streaming in all the graphics as quick as I want to, but uh, what we have here is the entranceway to Sears. And um, we have some sound in store, it looks like. I'm hearing wind sound. But uh, pretty cool little build here. Uh, lots of logo placement information about Sears, and the whole idea was to take and help Sears understand how they could leverage uh, virtual world technology or 3D internet and take something that people are familiar with and make it not only familiar, i.e. a Sears store, but take advantage of some of the really cool stuff that you can do on the 3D internet. So what first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to just jump up to the media room here. Here we are. Uh, we came in by the elevator, and this is our elevator. Each one of these bands represents a color. Uh, to match the floor that you're on, so blue, entertainment, and electronics, and here we are. We're going to go in here and check out the first thing I ever built. I mean, really built from scratch in Second Life. And by scratch, I mean I uh, grabbed some textures. And that is this wonderful Sony DVD surround sound speaker and uh, system. And you can zoom in and see some really good texture work. Well, you could zoom in probably better than I can. But there you go. Um, Sears provided us with all the uh, pictures, and we then took them and rendered them down to appropriate levels of uh, quality and uh, etc. There's my uh, TV that I made. Um, had some help from uh, from Stephen, Stephen Harrison, to understand how to uh, enable the video screen that you see on it. Uh, this is actually going to stream you a movie file, a uh, QuickTime movie. And what we showcase on this floor is two things. One is the ability to look behind objects in a store that you can't do today. And while we're doing that, we'll wave again. Hey, there I am. Uh, and then two is we take advantage of the fact that in a store you're limited by floor space. But here, you could literally have as many vignettes laid out as you want. Um, and this one right here is uh, one that I'm really proud of. It is my first attempt at an alpha channel. And we have this nice uh, Panasonic. Uh, used uh, Photoshop to uh, erase the background around the edges of the TV so that we got the alpha channel and could actually use their default um, picture. And the second thing we have is uh, this couch. This couch is a great couch. Purchased it in World. Uh, can't figure out how to sit down when I don't have the screen controls on screen. But uh, the key thing here was demonstrating another example of one of the rooms. And uh, we actually had somebody who uh, made us an Xbox for the Circuit City build that uh, we're also selling here and showcase showcasing in the Sears store. And, uh, you know... What kind of uh, launch would there be without some champagne? And I think this was uh, Rags to Riches or Lulu who brought us a nice bottle of Dom Perignon uh, for the event. We'll jump back down and go to probably uh, most people's favorite floor. Uh, and I think Pipe did a lot of the work on, on the animation on this floor, which is the garage. And in the garage, uh, we have a before and after picture of uh, how you would clean up your garage uh, using 
traditional pictures that you would see in a store today. And then that was the before, here's the after. We have the nice uh, cabinets with the craft and workbench. And now our two Nissans here that uh, we picked up in the world uh, would fit nicely in the garage. The red one over here is mine, actually. Uh, Jessica had a, had the car here. You can see it's flying right now. This one's a bit like the modified it to fly. But the animation that I'm talking about is really a demonstration product demo that uh, allows Sears to have the customers come in and uh, do the product demo on their own leisure instead of watching a video. And we clean up this garage with all these items to scale that now go flying over here into the cabinets. This was a big hit at CES. A lot of people like this, and there's a lot of positive comments understanding how this worked, really showcasing the fact that you could uh, demonstrate product that we may not be convenient in store. And in the third floor, and actually I, I went from middle to top to bottom, is here in uh, the kitchen, which is probably the most traditional and uh, the most powerful. So the traditional aspect is a bunch of product placement. And on each of these items I can click and it'll actually give me a note card uh, that I can take. So here we are back in the uh, kitchen room. I uh, had a couple people that interrupted for a quick chat. But we're going to walk up to the kitchen up top where we can see some of the really cool things. And this is this is the work uh, that really discharged battery uh, did just fantastic, tremendous, tremendous stuff in here that allow you to go in and do some basic kitchen remodeling. So I can go in here and uh, first check out how the kitchen lays out. You know, look inside the oven, uh, detach my camera, spin around, right, and uh, look inside the. Uh, dishwasher, but that's not the cool part. The cool part, and this is a really prototype, just first generation stuff, is um, allow you to go in and modify your kitchen, say switching to butcher block with uh, wood front cabinets. So, really some powerful stuff going on here. And ultimately the idea is to allow people to come in store and make you know, bring in a Google SketchUp or bring in their measurements and allow them to do the modifications themselves in store. Uh, and so you can have your spouse or a friend come in with you and uh, take a look at it from remote. So we'll hop down real quick and just uh, go down to the main floor and uh, see the last thing in here, which is the comment card. And then as we walk out, we'll see the doors, which uh, Stephen uh, Hugo created. He's the floating cloud for people who've seen him in the world. And uh, that's about it. So pretty cool build. Uh, great stuff. Bye.